Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, in this video it's going to be a vinyl finds. And I've bought some, to me, the best bunch of records that I've bought in ages. And I'm happy to share them with you. So, started off, I went back to the reseller store in a market close to me. Where I bought these two from on my last vinyl finds video. The Fleetwood Mac Live and My Chemical Romance, The Black Paddy's Dead Live. I paid £20 for those if you want to check out the video, it's on the channel. Like I said, I went back to the market stall and these are the records that I've purchased. But first off, like in my last video I said I got um, ones to upgrade and like this was one of them. Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair. And I found that in there for £3. So I've got an upgraded version of that. I think it's about three pounds, not quite sure. That's the first one. The next one, I'm sure JC from the flip side mentioned it. I don't know if it was a coming soon video or one he purchased. But I bought the Buster soundtrack. I think I paid a pound for this. And it's in fantastic condition. The disc is, it's got a little tear at the top. But the, like I said, the disc is in amazing condition. Good soundtrack. Next, this is the first time I've ever purchased a record CD or vinyl by this band. And this is the Rolling Stones Black and Blue. This is in amazing condition. It's a great album cover. It is, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. So, it's even got the original insert with like what every member was doing in, on each track. So, and the disc again is in immaculate condition. But I listened to the first half and I did really like it. So, I don't know what the second half sounds like, but the first half I was impressed with. Okay, this next one. Back to JC on the flip side, he did a coming soon video and he mentioned Echo and the Bunnymen. I think they're releasing three videos from Rocktober, three videos, three albums from Rocktober again re-releasing. And since then I've been like on a Echo and the Bunnymen kick, I've been listening to them a lot of them on Spotify and I found Echo and the Bunnymen Songs to Learn to Sing, it's like the best of from 85 and it is absolutely amazing. And it's got, the only damage is this bit here. But it's got the, it's original, yeah, original insert with all the lyrics on. And it is on, as people like to say, the Cabana label, Cabana. It plays like a dream. So, uh, another one. I forgot to mention, every one of these artists that I've picked up are uh, British. So... Next one, I haven't got any of these on, didn't have any anything by this band, but I bought the Pet Shop Boys actually. I don't know if I paid, it's a sticker here from Tower Tower Records for £2.49. But, you know, it's got the iPod, it's got the hit symbols, it's a scene, What Have I Done, and Rent and Heart. Some great tracks on this good album, good synth pop, so Pet Shop Boys. Okay, onto some prog rock, and I'm not a big prog rock fan, as you may know. If not, I bought a original copy in immaculate condition of Genesis' Trick of the Tail. Look at that! Absolutely beautiful copy of the album. I haven't listened to it yet, but the disc, the artwork's amazing. My friend Phil, massive Genesis fan, so if I don't really like it, I'm just going to give it to him. Uh, look at that. If you can see that without any of the glare. But fantastic, in great condition. And the last one I bought in this haul was a The Beatles Red Album 1962. 1966 there's some damage on the sleeve but the albums 
originals again, all the proper inserts on both discs are immaculate condition. So I'll just need the blue one now, and then that's that. I paid in total for that was £20, so in American dollars that's about $28. Not quite sure what it is in Euros, no apologies, but not bad for seven albums, so it works out about £2.80, something like that for each album. So, amazing for the finds for myself, really happy with them. Thanks for watching, stay precious, sweet.